evening. So the market would want to wait and watch. Thanks a lot, Anuj, for that. Sudarshan Sukhani and Mitesh Thakkar are with us. Uh, Sudarshan, uh, good morning. That's the big question, right? Will the December low of 17,700 break eventually uh, through the course of the next few weeks? What's your best guess? Uh, good morning, Sonia. I don't have a guess. Uh, we'll just follow the market if 17,800 breaks, then that tells us that much more downside is coming. But uh, uh, that's a, a separate issue because today I, that level should hold. We've had two days of gains in the U.S. markets, uh, broadly cheerful uh, markets almost everywhere except India. I think uh, we had a very narrow range yesterday. The bears did not uh, succeed in pushing the Nifty down. They did succeed in holding it. So after that narrow range and the fact that there is some optimism all around, today's trade is only on the long side of the market. You buy if the Nifty crosses yesterday's high of 17,980, keep a 100-point stop and then uh, count your luck. Okay, all right. Uh, so Darshan got that. Mitesh, what about you? We defended lower levels yesterday. What's your sense today? Good morning, Najib. So I think we have been doing that for the last few days, you know, uh, Look back at the last two weeks of history and 17,800, I think, has been tested uh, on about four or five occasions on intraday basis and managed to, uh, and, and the markets have managed to hold about that. But I think on the upside, we still need a breakout to confirm that, you know, there is some kind of bottom formation happening. So, till we cross 18,150, I don't think I'll be aggressively long. But in case we start breaking below 17,800 zones, then I think aggressive shorting opportunity could arise. And my initial belief is that there's a stronger chance of that happening. With the bank nifty also looking slightly corrective, I think the odds are that eventually, uh, in the next couple of days, we might get uh, a level below 17,800. But till then, I think, you know, trading is more of stock-specific basis or try to short closer to about 18,150 on the nifty. All right. Uh, <clears throat> got that. So that's the setup as both Mitesh and Sudarshan see it. Uh, gentlemen, good morning. In terms of specific trade setup stocks, uh, Sudarshan, what do you have? Well, I have emphasis, uh, which is a buying opportunity. It's made a sideways range that also looks like a bullish head and shoulder. That's a good pattern to trade in. Remember, most of the buys are positional buys. Or today, it is not possible to give an, say that, okay, well, intraday, in the next two hours, these stocks will go up. How would I know that? But emphasis is a buy if you are looking for a positional trade with a stop under 1975. Siemens is another buy. Similar pattern. It has made higher lows while the Nifty has made lower lows. It's outperforming the market. There is some sense that it is breaking out from a small trading range. Keep a stop under 2850. Jubilant Foods is my only intraday short. If you see the charts, it's a steady, one-sided move all the way down. That's an intraday short with a stop above 498. And finally, MCX is an attempt to buy a dip. This is not uh, like uh, Siemens or even emphasis. It is, we are trying to see whether we can buy this deep correction. Uh, we may not succeed. Keep a stop under 1456 and make that attempt. How about you? What would your buy and sell calls be for the day? I have more of buy calls today, uh, Sonia. A couple of metal names on the list. Hindustan Copper is a buy with a stop at 122. I would look for targets around 135, 136 to begin with and eventually higher levels here. The other name is Hindalco. The stock uh, made a fresh swing high. Uh, also had a gap up yesterday. So that's a buy with a stop below 480 for targets of 510. And Siemens is the uh, third buy call, uh, which I would recommend buying with a stop below 2905 for targets of, of, of uh, around 3,010 on the upside. Uh, one country sell call, that's on Cipla. Some kind of price breakdown has happened over here, and uh, we could see further declines. So targets of around 1,010 is what I'm looking for, and a short trade can be done with a stop just above 1,067. Got that, Pitesh. Well, talking about Cipla and Pharma stocks, I'll tell you what, we'll slip into a short break. We come back, we'll get you pre-opening. We'll also get chatting with Cinderella Carvalho of JM Financial to talk about demand trends in the pharma sector.